Hey, Paul Cummings, I come to you with gratitude in my heart that I was raised by George W. Cummings, Jr., my dad. He was a remarkable man, and I would like to thank my dad for all the lessons he taught me for teaching me how to dream big for teaching me that you never ever give up there was no quit in my dad for teaching me how to live a life of service. My dad did that every day. I would like to thank him for loving my mom so much, and he did. Every day of his life, he loved my mom, and she did exactly the same. They had a love affair that transcended 65 plus years. I would like to thank my dad for all the people he influenced in his lifetime, and it was a lot. I would like to thank my dad for setting the tone in our home for right living and my dad said all the time if you live your life right you will be richly rewarded and I found that to be true so for all of the people who reached out thousands of people. I can't thank you enough. The support, encouragement, and prayers for my mom and dad have been amazing. And I would like to thank you for my entire family. We are humbled by you reaching out and saying all the wonderful things you have said. I would also like to thank the stroke community that have reached out and did so much to support me through, through this difficult time. I really appreciate it more than you know. So we're having my dad's service tomorrow and we're going to celebrate, celebrate this man's amazing life. And um, we're going to sing and reflect and be grateful that we had him for so long. And I would like to end this by saying thank you, Dad, for all you have done for our entire family. We can't thank you enough. We will remember you every day of our life. Think back and smile at the great joy you brought us. And we miss you, Dad, more than you can ever imagine. Bye-bye.